Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Jamaica. But today we're not reacting to music, we are reacting to 24 hours with Jamaica's most dangerous gang. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be the Spartans or whatever. Some of y'all told me that the Sparta is a gang on Jamaica. Also, I apologize for my hair. Uh, as always, just woke up. It's literally my routine. I wake up, make a video for you guys and go about the day. Yeah, go get yourself something to drink, something to eat. And without further ado, let's get straight to the video. This turned me a monster around here. One stop killing. It's on a bumbo clock up town in the back, man. Get up. Nah, stop you eat. This okay. is a man as the Jamaica people. Don't make it shine. Because when we see it shine, we are coming to it. Don't let it grind me, isn't it? We go to do it. He said, I haven't been eating for two days. Dude is out here fasting. Nah, but for real though, that's not even like, if it's because he can't afford food, that is, that is awful. That is really awful. No, 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 no. This is gonna be so crazy to see because I feel like on Jamaica it's gonna be so different from ghettos and gangs in America and in Denmark and in Europe in general and like I just feel like that's that's another level like I feel like I feel like you should be careful man. This week I'm in Kingston, Jamaica, one of the most dangerous cities in the world. At one stage, it was named the murder capital of the world where someone was getting killed every six hours. I've come to speak to those involved, from gang members, contracted killers and serial killers, to get an insight to what it's really like living in these dangerous garrisons. To watch the whole documentary, it will be on my Patreon for little as $2.99 a month. As well, there's a book in my description called Environment Trap if you want to see what it's really like living in these trenches. Time for the documentary. Okay. okay. My first interview in Kingston, Jamaica was with a contracted killer named Blacks. This is an insight into his story, into what it's like growing up in these environments. All right, then call me my friend and call me Blocks, boy, yeah, you know. Blocks? Yeah, Blocks. Live up in a, you know, a place called Uptown, Kingston 6. You know, and girls you can't find. How um, much it like living in this environment? Yeah. I'm so happy that he put subtitles on. I wish every single Jamaican artist would do the same. Oh, the police on six, you know, and girls you can't find. And what's it like living in this environment? Yo, the police don't know that people have to put it in a war, you know. Kill us on Babylon, you know. Kill us on wanted man, you know. Is there an active war happening at the moment as well? Be a war every day, you wake up and hear somebody dead. From them things you come in, just get bothered. Would you say you was born into this kind of life? Born in a bad pan, yeah. Never born a hostel. Yeah, man, that's why I have to go rough. Dark. No mother, no father. Granny alone. Where are your parents? He wasn't even... He wasn't even born in the hospital, man. I mean... I think there's a lot of people who's actually not born in the hospital. Probably for other reasons. But he also said he had no mom, no dad. I know what it's like to have no dad, but no, no mom neither. That is tough. But I was... I grew up at my grandma's place as well. Shout out to every grandma out there. Fuck. No mother, no father. Granny alone. Where are your parents? I don't know in there. Body just gone. I'm going to open my body so I'm going to see beer going on. I have to just go and live with them now. How can you leave this life? Can't leave it. I have to put it down, i dead. And what's this gang war over? Bang, come see it. I have to just go and continue it, continue it. They might kill out your loved one, kill out people, you know? If that, that's the sad thing. Uh, I actually think he's telling the truth. I think there's always a way out, but I think um, depending on where in the world you are, it's going to be way, way, way more difficult. Um, and I do think Jamaica is one of those places where it is hard. I could imagine that it's extremely, extremely hard. Because even in Denmark, where I'm from, uh, not to underestimate it, it was, it, it was rough, like traumatizing, a, a lot of things. But it's not Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is not Jamaica and it will never be jamaica when it comes to like gang life and stuff like that so even though it was hard i think living in places like these i think brazil as well and stuff like that i think it's 
Oh, thinking. Because mm. they will kill your family. Like, that. Mm. My brother, them, friend, them, I kill out. Whatever you do, don't take it up on your head, man. Enemy, them, kill my brother, man. From the other side. side, man. Did you find out who it was? Yeah, man, that dead long, long time, man. My boy, not know what I heard, man. I was born down. What's the craziest thing you've seen living in this environment? People cut our people to work. Nails, if you hang them, dump them body in the river there. And if you could change it. I'll just say, as someone who's editing myself, you can see here that his face is blurred. If they promised him to blur his face throughout the entire thing, then something went terribly wrong in the editing because he's not blurred. Nails, if you hang them, you dump see? them body in the river there. And if you could change anything about what's happening with the wars, what would you change? Just want to get to the, the, the enemy then first, you know? and then the place come back in you know? a one. You know? We are on the place good. We are part thief boy, yeah. then dead. So, so but see, that's the issue. Uh, that's the issue. So he was asked, like, if there is anything you could change about this, what would you change? And he said, first of all, we had to get rid. We have to get rid of all the enemies. But that means it'll never change. Because if you then go to some of his enemies and ask the same question, he'll say the same thing. So they'll continue to like pop bullets at each other and kill each other and just violate each other. That way it'll never end. But it is a good question though. Like I, I honestly don't know neither how like gang activity, no matter what country you're from, I don't know how to end it. I do not know how to end it. Someone rapes someone or, or robs them, they'll be dead. Dead. Are you happy to do this for the rest of your life? Till I'm dead. Nah, stop doing it. I have a kill on you, I had more going up. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, man, if I'm with me, I tell him to stop a boy in the neck, man. One stop kill him. Uh, and it's person about 18 of me kill. What was that over? Him every day, he see me, he take poo, bully me and him something there, thump me up. I say, one day, my mouth's all here. I'm gonna stop walking with the knife till I stab him. One stab. Find that. Even if I'm touch 13, I lost badness. Cheap badness. How many people have you murdered? Not 12 years old. I've said it in other videos as well. I'm telling you, do not just because it's kids walk around and think like, you can't do nothing to me. Be careful out there because people are crazy. And the kids, they're nine out of 10 times even more crazy. So just please, happy gang, stay safe, man. And if you're living on Jamaica, I know I got a lot of Jamaican subscribers as well. Y'all are my family. I don't want any harm to come your way. Like, I'll, I'm praying for you guys. Please stay out of trouble. Please. I don't know if I'm murdered enough, no. Can't count from 10 fingers, I'm 10 to them. I'm not murdered enough. Is there any remorse? Or do you feel guilty or bad about any of these murders? No. Yeah, bad people we are killing, bad man. I will get to eat at them. So can you still sleep easy at night? No, we don't, man. Kill, 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 all of you sleep. Do you reckon that's affected your head and your mindset? No, man. When we drink rum and smoke, we eat weed, man. We're all right, man. That's crazy. Have you got any children? Or do you plan to have children? Yeah, man, we have I actually thought the interviewer were from America, but I hear an accent. I don't know if it's Ireland or if it's like Scotland, but it sounds like something like that. Maybe even like somewhere in England, maybe some Northern English accent or whatever. I don't know. But there's, it's definitely not America. All right, man. That's crazy. Have you got any children? Or do you plan to have children? Yeah, man, we have children, man. But would you want them to be in the same life that you're in? That's why, no, no, I know. Ten brother, ten different men, you know. No, no, they want to come follow them father, you know. Them, you know? And when was the last time you committed a murder? Last week, man. Last week? Yeah, man. Keep this dude is about three men. Yo, this dude is literally snitching on himself as well. Hey, yo, if you're a believer of God, please, please pray for this man right here because... That's he's on a wrong, wrong path. And when was man. the last time you committed a murder? That's last crazy. Week, last week. Yeah, man. Kill about three of them with their own son, man. Go and look out at them, yeah, man. Why not? Nah, don't tell we tell it done, man. This next interview was done in one of the most dangerous garrisons with mm. one of the most highest murder rates in the whole of Jamaica. I can't give away the exact location of the garrison, but just know it wasn't a safe place to be. Earlier, I saw there's people watching like the roads. Why would people watch the roads? Is that in case police or anything come? Yes, that is it. And do the police come around here much? Regular basic. 
Yeah. Regular. If you get caught with a gun, what happens in Jamaica? Jamaica, the government right you now. Oh, for us, not a lot right now. A couple months ago, it's a 15 years for a gun. More than 15 years. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, 15 years for a gun, that's even worse than Denmark. And we have strict, strict gun laws. In Denmark, it's like if you're not affiliated with a gang and you get caught with a unregistered like gun, like if you're not allowed to carry a gun, which you're not, like, come on, unless it's a hunting rifle and you're a hunter with a hunting license and you're out in a forest, like even on the way back home from the forest, it has to be all like concealed. It's like you are not allowed to carry a weapon just like that in Denmark. If you do, it's one year. One year in prison. Boom. Gang affiliations will get double the sentence. So two years in prison. Uh, prison. 15 years. Oh, the Americans are not going to like that. Oh, for us, not a lot right now. A couple months ago, it's a 15 year for a gun. More than 15 years for a gun right at this moment. Is crime going down? Uh, going down. Sky high to go. Well, why is that? Why is crime so high? Fame being a power. Most young youth were MP coming to power, crime, crime, crime. If PMP was in a power, enough young youth have work. Every day, crime get worse and worse. Since this man coming to power. Who's who's in power at the moment? What's his name? Andrew Oles, man. How do you feel about Andrew Oles? Step aside and go one side. Who voted him in? All them Lebanese there. To get a look, so a look at them. To get turned on. So PMP won't work for the Jamaicans, but Labour's anti almost. That is it. Yeah, that is that is hard. Um, I remember when when I got out of like everything, like I was done with every bad thing I was doing in Denmark. I, obviously, my criminal record wasn't clean. Um, it's hard. It's it's hard getting a job once you. I mean, you could argue and say, yeah, well then don't be a criminal. I get it. I'm not trying to make any excuses. What I did was 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 wrong. But people needs a second chance or at least if they decide what you would want for a criminal is for him to actually come to the realization that hey this is not it i want to go out there i want to get a job but for me at least and, and my experience that is really really hard once you have a criminal record that 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 isn't clean ah oh, it's a long day mate it's a long day so I'm just hoping for like younger people. I know there's like uh, Shine for Kids in Australia. They're working for like it's a non-profit uh, organiz a non-profitable organization. Organization, yes. Um, they're doing an amazing, amazing jobs, uh, amazing work, amazing. Hey, you guys know that I'm like I literally just woke up. Like, don't hate on my English, okay? Just let me live. Now they're doing something amazing. They're doing something great. Um, it's about like the criminal justice system for kids, uh, and they're helping them so they can like find jobs and stuff like that. And that is really important. Like what you want to do with an ex criminal, get him into like get him out there, like make him a part of society, give him a job, something to something to wake up and do. You know, like make his life make sense if that makes sense. I don't know, man. I'm working. But Labour's anti almost. That is it. That is it. It's different turf. Different turf. The opposition is this close. Yeah. So you have to be aware. This place, no go zone. Bro, that's less than 50 meters. Enemies grown. That's insane. So the, so the place run. People who live here, they, if they go here, it could kick off. Yeah. Yeah. Kill. I actually think he's from England. I think he's from Northern England or something like that. If if one of you guys know where he's from or who he is, let me know in the comments. Not I would, safe for you. I would actually like to know. Good. People who live here, they if they go here, it could kick off. Yeah. Yeah. Kill. So is it not safe for you to stand here? Right at this moment, it's good now. Right now, ceasefire. Everything chill. But wrong person, wrong time. Game. Done. Let's go back that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used to run it wild out there. Wild. Wild life he used to deal with it. Grimey. See me and all. Not for my friend, I've never lived, see my, my age. This turned me a monster around here. From lose my mother at the age of 15 year old, to the I'm 31 year old. Grimy life. My next interview was in Spanish town. No. Hey, I would like to know what happened there. Was it the police or what, what happened? For its turf war, gang wars and high murder rates. I spoke to a gang member here and got an insight into how gangs really operate here in Jamaica. 
Spend his life living here. Why Philip in here have a skill and so, I know for survive Philip in a this atonia cause. Atonia no normal. A dog nyam dog. And how dangerous is it living here? On a nice place. Time bomb. A time bomb. It is like you're upon a bomb. You walk go down the circle and dead at any minute, yeah, any second. So you walk, have to yeah. make sure you have your thing for you when you make a walk. Because you can't just walk. So you have to be knowing and have family and family take you around and show you to people so you can live in peace and live comfortable so everybody know you. But you can't just come and they are suck. Right now for you, they are suck. And nobody don't know you. I rob you and I get like i know in america it can be tough as well but uh, to my american followers out there like let me know even if it's like a gang area like if you're just a normal civilized person you can still go there and go to the store right like it's not like you'll just get killed from going there right i feel like that doesn't happen it obviously probably does happen but it would be rare like if you have nothing to do with anything. Trouble man to right? all your things and all them things from you. You can't tell who you know about you. You can't get a, a prescription on nobody, you got dead. And is it easy to get a job here? Does your community alone for your address alone hard for you get a job? And so how are people paying for bills? Well, you have some people still, you know. You have to go far out and go do the car. You have some people who do day's work, like one look at site work and so forth to survive. You have to have this. Because you say if you don't have this, you can't survive. This is like a power in a Spanish town. So when a man know you have this, a man stay wide and know say you It's so crazy to me to think about that what he's carrying right there is a 15-year jail sentence. I can't oh. run for that youth because you know say your head will mash. And what are people fighting over? Why people just fight for living? You know? And sometimes the politics trigger them. Sometimes you say you say PMP and you say wrong thing at the wrong time. So you have to know where you say. Sometimes you have to just neutral and go through. So is it a um, political gang war? Gang war, yeah man. Up so and down you say in a while you can't go down there so. And down there so you can't come up here. So how far is that from your block? Couple look at chain because you can't. Look in distance, you can't stay from your son, look down there. You jump on a car and move if you move, but you can't have foot. You have to dip on vehicle and move. You see a bush life we are live right now. You see a bush we have to in us, we can't do dip on the front, you see me? Yeah. So we have to live like a cave, man. Cave, man. And I'm assuming, bro, you want to leave this life. Remember, say every man want better for themselves, you know, but we not have it forget you yeah, right now, so we have to just live the life where we can live right now. When you not have it, you have to just go and do what you do. Because right now you say you have changed your life, a dead you're good and dead, so you have to just stick to the evil where you know. What advice would you give to people who are coming to Spanish Town? Well, as a tourist? eyes out. And be careful and know an object where, where you go to. You can just go in a place so you have to have somebody, some link where you can take you around. So you know say people know you and see you and this man you know say no man can run pretty cause me see you and not a man here so a man you good. So first Okay, okay, okay. And I'm actually one of those I've been saying for the longest now, I actually wanna go to Jamaica. Hey, Spanish town, let, let's stay away from Spanish town maybe. Maybe Spanish town is not where I need to go. It's all love and respect, but I'm just taking the advice from the locals, man. Like maybe just Find somewhere else to chill, yeah? Come here with, with my girlfriend. Would it be good for us just to walk through the garrisons or not? Well, a man see a man and him girl, him not go really too pressure him like that. Cause him see him and a lady I walk, but probably for you alone, or your lady alone and a man see her, a, most a man will want to look at woman. What if I was walking with big jewelry and big watches? Yeah, well. Yeah, see, that's not a good idea anywhere if it comes to like hood life or whatever, even in Denmark. I know a lot of places where you shouldn't just walk through if you don't know the area with big like flashy chains and watches. That's just never a good idea, bro. That's just never a good well, idea. Well, that one, that is come like a food to it. Yeah. Like a rice and peas and chicken when we see that. So we have to get it. So you have to be careful. If I ever have you have in your ears, don't make it shine. Because when we see it shine, we are come to it. And yeah, one thing yeah. I'm hearing as well that's big in Jamaica is contract killings. Yeah, that go on here most. Because remember, say, nothing hurt now go on. And forget a look, man, to go kill it. Come like a joy. Because you can make a 200 or a 300 to be easy and quick. So, so to kill someone, it costs as little as 200,000 yeah, Jamaican dollars. All depends on the bat. Because you see, you have dear bat, you have cheap bat, and you have dear bat. Yeah. You see, businessman bat. 
very expensive. The higher ranking the person is, yeah. the more it's going to cost. The more, more it's going to cost. If I offered you a million dollars to kill someone, would you do that? Right now, oh. I remember saying nothing now go on and we tell us that we now have no work, no job. So that is like a job to we. Problem you wouldn't even get the job because for now, 10, 10, 20 men want it before even me. The hierarchy, the way the gangs work in Jamaica. So I'm realizing you've got soldiers and you've got dons. Yeah, yeah you have dons and you have followers that follow back of the don them same way. So how did you get to become a don? Well, you have to kill people. And people know you as a serial. Respect so them respect you as a killer. If the don wants someone killed, would he have to pay? Don just wants say. One talk and one I talk eat that. And I eat that. I'll 17, 15 man one go. So people would kill for the done for nothing? Right now. And how long does it take to become a done? Hey yo, I've said it before in this video, I'm gonna say it again to all my Jamaican subscribers. I hope you're good. I hope you're not a part of all of this. If you are, I'll pray for you. And if you are, let me know without snitching on yourself. I don't want anyone to get in trouble, but like share your stories man also if you're not from jamaica let me know like your stories in the comments i would like to hear them and hey maybe we can help each other out like in the comments i hope like we're one big family here if there's anything you want to like let off your chest or whatever hey let's let's talk it through in the comments but don't get yourself in trouble though but yeah i'll i'll pray for you guys like i really really hope that all of y'all are good and you're not a part of this because hey, this this is sad to see. Honestly, it shouldn't be like this. It should not be like this. Is there no time frame? Is it just based on how many people you kill? No, all depends. You have to burn and grow in an era, and you're there in an era, and you respect due people can look up to you and say, well, this man is fit to run the place. Or from the councillor, give you the done or, or the MP say, well, uh, him had the done. You know, you have to just work with that because the MP them powerful, you know. And the MP them tell we all these things that they're going to do for you and all where they're going to make happen for you and we still not see nothing. So we have to just go and live the way we can live for better come. We don't want in a bush every day. I live bush life. We can't get no good night's sleep. We can't even rest in our bed in peace because we have to have look out our eye. We now live comfortable. We not even eat proper. So we can sit down on a stove for say we are going to cook a pot. Because we have to look, so we have to just mostly grab a box food or grab a snack so we know so we eat that. So we live in yeah. Jamaica. And that's what I'm trying to capture, bro, because no one really knows that's happening. People know about people just be a blind eye to it. Even the MP, them we call up and sometimes so they know what is going on and know what is taking place. Sometimes it's even them give with the gun them too. And let's say I wanted to buy a gun, how much would it cost me? The um, bigger the gun or the bigger the money. You want a look and a look at spinners, you have one look at 250, 300,000, you get one look at spinners. That's how most men get done to. So they come in here and see man like we, they can support the thing, then buy real five, six, seven gun, eight gun. So we have to say, yeah, this is how many are done, you know. Because remember, you have strength in the thing, you know. We now have the powers, we now have the money. So you have the money, you have the power, so we have a gear than shit. Because you have the money for strength and everything. Go to jail, you can find lawyer for it. So Jamaica is like this. The more money you have, the more powers you have. Car. That's the same everywhere. Everywhere. Denmark, America, Jamaica, Asia. Money in the world we live in today is power. Um, with money, you can do pretty much everything uh, materialistic. And yeah money is powers in jamaica yeah. crime and the violence would try to change that cause it's so wicked sometimes i'm a little grandson gone out there i'm a threat for him because so for sure you how it's serious we live in a jamaica but it's very hard and rough and tough but you don't know where you have to live because you don't know if we not have this we can't live respect and manners to jamaica people i hope your situation changes bro both yeah i hope you're able to make out of this environment bro yeah, yeah we wish every day i'm pray to for things change and better because every youth in our community will not like better just like how you can come in and talk to where i make a feel look comfortable in other community because right now you know long we don't see somebody like you for come on and say ray you make a feel so good in our community so people like you who want in our country Thank you for your time, bro. You're welcome. Big up yourself. The next interview was in Spanish Town again. I interviewed a general and got an insight to what it's like being a higher ranking member of a gang. A general? Yo, the way they're talking in Jamaica about the gang members and stuff like that, it sounds like a whole like. But he also said it like it's a political gang war, but it sounds political as well. Like, it, it really sounds like a war. 
That is crazy. I all of a sudden understand like when Tommy Lee, like he, Tommy Lee Sparta, when he's like rapping about the things he's rapping about, I, I kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking a lot about him right now because I was so much on him for being like the devil worshiper, yada, yada, and so much evil in his lyrics until like y'all proved me wrong and showed me that he actually have some beautiful sides to him as well. But now I'm like, no wonder. Like if this is, the environment you grow up in that is going to do something to you mentally wise like mentally wise can you even say that i don't even know yo i i feel so bad yo. what's it like being in spanish huh i'm spanish so i'm bored you know doggy doggy you know i don't know see i don't know where i can take it to a different level isn't it i get to this you know just live so we see better how bad is the violence in this area come like a time bomb isn't it anytime no everything can just boom People start dead, isn't it? And if you could change anything about this neighborhood, what would you change? Most of our money, yeah, the yeah. own graffiti. How are people making money in these environments? More to my links, you know, links and hustle. So when mm. are people hustling? How are they hustling? Yeah, I get the people also get robbed too. Is it more that it's gang wars in these areas? Yeah, yeah. man, 34 hours to see me back at that too. And what's the fight over? Own graffiti, money. We won't friend, don't get in the city. Isn't that so? I don't know if I always have to think about it, what I was there. And you get police around the area much, yeah, checking man. the area? Police come regular, man, but what? I'm sure of them. And it's me. Them free with you, you know. More time, police, my bad man, too. The police are corrupt, yeah, as well. man. Police are corrupt, same way. Yeah, I don't feel the money, the money, if you think work in the whole day, you know. Either you're dead in a jailhouse, you know. So you can. That's always a struggle. Like when the police is corrupt as well, and they're supposed to be the ones to protect and serve, that makes it, that makes it way, way worse. Because um, there's like, there's no one to rely on, then, you know. There is no one to rely on. Like, I don't know, that just that makes the situation 10 times worse. Because they're the ones that are there to, like, prevent it from happening, whatever is happening. If they are buying into it as well, boo, mate, that's long. That is long. Pay the police off. Yeah, man. Some of them will take, take it, man. Yeah, brave, you know. And what's the worst thing you've seen living in Spanish town? My Dakota Fest, I'm a general, man. And, and you get many tourists. Visit in this area. Yeah, man, when the tourists them forward, man, we treat them right, like how they treat the right, man. Okay. They think normal. So I'm assuming you don't want to do this ever? No, no, we don't want to do it ever. That's yes, why some, someone love it, you know. Someone in born with it, you know. Born with the badness, isn't it? Being in that kind of life, does it mess with your head, like psychologically? I don't know, I'm going to end up with them back away, you know, but we love it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we have to do it. Right, so I don't see one right, that's what I'm You know, I see him, can I do it? And has anyone here got children? Yeah, man, I wear dogs, man, children, man. And I guess, would you want your children to live this kind of life? No, man, no, I don't want it, you know. But you, them are for eating, they're here, though. Is there a case of if you don't live this life, you can't make money? Do you want me? Not my child. I'm going to say bang, bang line, too. You understand, I'm going to bang line. What's that? Scamming, man. White color crime, man. You know? Yeah, man, we call them and they know they're winning all the bands, man. Big fat J. What? J. Wagon, they're winning bands, eh? Lucky, man. Lucky scam, man. Sweet steaks, man. They win gift, man. You don't know. Give them a payroll, man. Yes, man. Give them a payroll, man. Give them a payroll, say, oh, I'm so much money. Say, no, they're winning, say, no, they're winning. And what's the worst memory you've got from Spanish town? I'll be at the war, still, you know? Yeah, man, some friend them dead and them thing there, you know? But when something like that happens, how does that affect you? Is it in case you want to stop this or does it make you want to get there? Yeah, I'll stop it. Boy, if it's dead, boy, that even the mother he said oh my lord like that that is the issue right there once you go kill someone that person probably had a brother or a best friend or a father or a mother or someone who's gonna wanna then they're gonna go and kill two of you now because they killed two of us we're gonna go kill three of them and then the cycle continue continues you know it's so hard to stop this because there's so much blood involved that there is going to be someone who's just out for re re revenge, I couldn't say that, revenge, they don't care about the stopping, they don't care about who has to die, they don't care about if they have to die, that is what makes this extremely difficult all over the world, how do you prevent this from happening, how? If you've got a problem with someone, someone's got a problem with you and you can't find them, they'll go yeah, for the family. Yeah, you shot that get you get you you get you shot. That's insane. Yeah, man. If you could do anything to help the, everyone in this area, what do you reckon can be done? Business. Because you know, for them, you would have the education to see me. Don't feel like we are done, you know. Man, I'm smart to back out to you, you know. Just want money. Make you some live, lavish. Don't let a grind me, you know. Never told you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how frequent are shootings in this area? Anytime. 
They are right now, yeah, someone can clap up with us on a man dead or so. All you have a thing for you, you see? I'm telling you, listen up. You send a bomb or cloud up town in a bad man. Get up! Dead when you come here, right now, you're there, right now, brother. I respect the game in general. I'm not telling you when I want to rob it, rob it up. What you rate, you know? I respect, isn't it? Yeah, man. It's respect and I love this bad man. If you're telling people to come here, what would you tell them of the do's and don'ts of this area? Yeah, what I go on. So I'll come here more time. Make sure you're a friend or family. Have a link, man. Man, you tap yourself. Where you come to? Dog, you come to have your name. Yeah, he's a thief, man. Yeah, man, you come to Tom Joe. If you could stop this gang, well, would you stop it? Can't stop it. You can't take one man. If you could. I don't say something I want to do every day. Ever. That's say yo, that stop it, you know. Yeah, Tell yeah. the one buckler, my clan chicken back, you know. Okay. A steak, oh, I'm one buckler, and yeah, brother. Steak and lobster and them thing there. Mm-hmm. We tell the tin forward. Well, I hope everyone's situation changes, bro, and I hope your life changes for the better, and you haven't got to do this in years to come, man. Yeah. That's yeah. the one, the one. I'm on every time, man. man. Yeah, it was nice to meet That's everyone. Yo. Yeah. 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 That is crazy. Hey, as I said, I hope all of y'all are good. I hope everyone watching this right now if you're from jamaica or if you're from anywhere else in the world and you're living in neighborhoods like this or in environments like this there is a way out trust me there is a way out there has to be a way out god is there god is watching you remember that um and yeah just hope all of y'all are good man let me know your stories in the comments if there's anything you want to share just please don't get yourself in trouble um and yeah like I don't even know what to say. It's, it's said like this is Jamaica, but this is happening all over the world, all over the world. Not only in America, not only in Jamaica, not only in Brazil, not only in Asia, not only in Denmark. It's everywhere. Um, and it's sad, honestly. It's sad. I hope all of y'all are good. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please hit that subscribe button. It's right underneath you and it's totally free. Uh, there could also be a yellow square thing in the in the bottom right there you can also just press that if it is there sometimes it's not like the video hey and just have a wonderful day man that's actually the most important thing for me have a wonderful day god bless you stay happy stay safe and as always peace out man